run in and get Floyd and Deborah. I know she seems kinda uptight, but she can have fun. Mmm, no. I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd, then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Boy's trip! Exactly! Oh, Trevor, what have you got all over mm. yourself? You're all... Donated. You're all red! You got... You got syrup? Yeah! Syrup! Accidents! We've all been there. We sure have, but... But it don't taste like syrup. Don't taste me, all right? Just... No licking. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure! Last year. I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell and Kush Chronic and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit, and you met a dealer, and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, it was with you, driving out to the quarry, and then they just disappeared. Poof, right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now Cousin Deborah don't want you around? I mean, there's a pattern here. The Congo did get messy. The pattern is you can't rely on anyone. Anyone except me. Look, this is it. So, this is where Floyd is gonna meet us, the strip club? Oh, yeah. That gun like him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here! Mm, right here! Here? Mm, here. Now, I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie! Hey, you two! You two, I want you to give this boy a good time for a long time. Hey, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner. Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taking over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentleman's Club. All right, message Franklin.
So you're gonna drive into me? Mr. DeSantis, good to see you. City of Saints in struggle, lost scandals, saying and trouble. Word. Whenever I try and leave, they give me another chance. You want me to get naked for you? strip clubs objectify women, but you ain't objects, you're people. Hey, before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Meriwether, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just gonna live here. I'm gonna run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. So how'd you come by this place anyway? Got it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there are other guys, though, too. So, uh, anyway, we, uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But... But! It'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. Into 
intel suggests they'll be going down Innocence Boulevard and East LS at approximately 1530. And Trevor and I need to map their route for a possible hijack point, so we're going to his airfield in Blaine County and coming back in his chopper to intercept. Michael Franklin, all you gotta do is take the temperature at the bank, see if there's anything that stands oh, out. Shit. Hey, we are uh, taking the temperature. Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit routes, general vibe. All right. I... That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground that's hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Hey man, you might not notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group. From the way you and Trevor behave. Ah, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me, though. No? Well, remind me to go over with you again sometime. But not now. Look, dawg, light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserves? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. Trevor, how are you doing? Uh, well... Uh, uh, I like clockwork, Mikey. I like clockwork. You mentioned a uh, job before, something I could help you with. I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. Why don't you talk to Michael about it? Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate. Thirteen thirty. We're an hour down, two to go. You're the one who keeps talking about the schedule, Lest. Come on. Mike's observations fit with your scheme. So far, yeah. The security's internal rather than external. It's quiet enough that any disturbance is going to get picked up immediately. But what those two don't know is there's a special team of cops on standby 24-7. Be careful not to get too close to the prison. We'll trip an alarm. Good boy. Don't want them jumpy for the breakout. Ah, yeah. Waiting on a signal from the UD. Won't go out on any other call. And it's never been hit. Those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh, yeah, that and spying on innocent people. Hmm, getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent people. Now, who does that remind me of? Anyway, if we want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice, the key will be to divert the security team. Divert it? You said they hold out for calls from the UD, and that's it. They do, so we'd have to hit it twice, once to distract them, and once to get it done. You're gonna find someone willing to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction? I was thinking, Michael, it might appeal to his ego. Oh, what am I saying? We got the perfect guy for it. Do whatever Les needs you to do. 